Hello everyone, Dell with Healing Frequencies Music. And the purpose of this video is, is to do a demonstration of what I tend to do when I am releasing frequencies. And people tend to think that that has everything to do with playing a specific musical note. But if you've paid attention to my blog posts, such as uh, Thoughts, Intense, Action, I'll put a link to that particular blog post in the description below. But we forget that, you know, when I play an instrument, I'm just playing an instrument. But I can take a frequency with intention arcing with that. You have two things to generate electricity. You take one thing plus a second, you put them together. That creates the energy that you're looking for. So what I'm doing is I'm pairing my intent with the sound of a musical instrument to release a thing. So for example, we're going to use this new drum that I made with some friends a couple weeks ago. It's kind of big, but so for example, one of the things that I've been doing is, is I say, okay, I want to release some peace and I might, you know, do play a rhythm or do something of the drum, or I might even play the gong, you know, whatever instrument that I feel best works with that particular sound I will use. You know, and there are certain sounds, you know, these little things on the gongs are called flumies, and there might be a specific sound that I might want to use that matches a word, which is a frequency. Because when you say something, that is a frequency, because your breath creates a frequency. Thoughts, intents, and actions all have a resonant frequency. So when you are speaking something out, you are turning that into a reality of some kind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when I am releasing frequencies of hope or joy or freedom or breakthrough or restoration, I might grab this drum, for example, which is what I was doing a lot of that on because I was pounding it out and I really wanted that sound to go through the, to the, through the wavelengths of the air to wherever it is they were being delivered to. So I pound the drum of freedom. And then I might do, you know, whatever I feel led to do. And sometimes it might be just a consistent beat. Other times it might be a specific rhythm. And so whatever it is that I feel led to do, I just, with my intent, say, I release, name whatever it is, play it on the instrument, the sound of the drum, plus what is coming out of my mouth with whatever word I'm releasing, creates the needed energy for that thing to become. So in reality, it requires a couple of things, just like electricity requires a positive and a negative to work together to create the energy that's needed to makes an electrical appliance work. There's generally an arcing of two different things. So anytime I play an instrument, I am using my intent to arc with the sound of that instrument to bring about a thing. So if I want more peace in my life, for example, I might find an instrument that really sounds a lot like peace. So for example, the crystal bowls all are definitely very peaceful. So I might take this instrument right here, this, this one, kind of close together. And I might say, I release peace with the sound of this crystal bowl. And another one, I might say, I want to release some joy. Let's just use the thunder tube because I like the thunder tube as well. I'm going to release some joy with this thunder tube. So I am pairing my intent with the sound of the thunder tube to create the needed energy for it to release the thing that I'm speaking out. And again, it's going to all be based on what I feel at, the, at any given time. So for example, if I'm creating a sound bath, I'm going to use a variety of instruments. And as I am creating that sound bath, I might pick an instrument that will be very specific to a sound or something I'm hearing in my head that might 
pair really well with peace or joy or love. So if I'm sending out love, I might, you know, go over and play these chimes. If I really feel that that's part of it, and I might add some other chimes into it. You know, whatever sounds I feel like at that time go with the word that I'm releasing. That's what I send out. So anytime that you're in a position that you really want to release a sound, use an instrument, use your words, arc it together to go to where it is you direct it and it does the thing. So that, that is the basic quick description of how I release frequencies. And again, it's not necessary. What note is it? It's your intention paired with something that you arc together to release that frequency. So hopefully that will help describe what it is. Now, to put it into practice, you hear something and you want to pair that with it. So for example, I was watching a live stream a couple a week or so ago, and there were people that were really, really laughing. And I'm like, ah, there's a frequency that I want to entrain with that's come into agreement with. So what I started doing, I did a couple of things. Then I got out the drum, the freedom drum. I called it at that point, the freedom drum. And I just started pounding on the drum. I release laughter, I release joy, I release happiness into the atmosphere as I was listening to these people laughing on this live stream. And I was pairing and joining with the laughter that I was hearing on the other side. And so between where I was and where they were located, I envisioned seeing that frequency of laughter coming from my place all the way to where they were. And so Anytime that you want to release a frequency, that's as simple as it is in how to do it. Um, and that's why I keep saying intent is an extremely important part of the picture. So that's just a quick little example. And I'll take my beater, play the, the bomb first. And we will call it a wrap and we'll see you in the next short little video. Thank you for joining me.